Welcome everyone to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and gorgeous PNC Park. It's time for MLB The Show's Game of the Week. It's the Miami Marlins going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. Along with my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. And Singy, we have a chance to witness history here today. There's one player everyone's got their eyes on. Eric Stevens. He's on the verge of breaking the Major League single season home run record. And you can feel the buzz in the stadium, Boog. This is a record that transcends the game of baseball. This is national news. His chase for this record has been absolutely remarkable to watch. And the game itself here will actually take a back seat to his quest to set the new mark. First pitch coming your way next. So up next, Brian De La Cruz. Entered the game as a pinch hitter last night. Back in the starting lineup for this one. One down, base is empty. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the grab, and there's two down. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, and he just doesn't seem like things are in sync, and the ball's just not coming off his back. One down. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Eric Stevens. Homered last night, added another hit as well. Ripped into right center, and that should be extra bases. Takes the turn, he's digging for second. Not stopping, he's going for three. And he's at third with one away, that's a triple. I'll tack one more game onto his hitting streak, Boog. Every day, this guy just keeps making his record harder and harder to reach. I still can't believe what he's doing. Yeah, neither can I. It's like he's playing on beginner mode out there. So one gone with a runner at third. And hey, next will be the right cleanup here. hitter, Oledmis Diaz. The count two and one. And that one fouled off. Hard hit to third. Rolls across the diamond, runs scores, and that makes it 2 0 as they get the out. Now it's the right fielder, Jesus Sanchez. Brubaker, a former All Star. He features a sinker, a slider, a curve, a four seamer, and he works in a changeup. Hammered on a line at a left base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Now he'll turn for second. Safe at second with nobody out, and he represents the tying run. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him. So that. that Connor that. Stark, yeah. the, the next up for the Marlins. Connor. Hitless in the series. Stark. He's 0 for 9. Sanchez, the runner at second with one away. And that one in the air center field. And puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. Batting it. The designated hitter, Jorge Soler. Back here at the ballpark as we go to the last of the third. Here's some real power at the plate. Eric Stevens. He's sort of your typical power hitter. Wouldn't necessarily call him a three true outcome guy, but he's in there to hit home runs. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that. Fans dig the long ball, bro. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Alcantara back to work. And a foul ball. You know, these Pirates doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. And here's a stat for you, Boo. They're making contact. This one's fair down the line and left, and it's going to be extra bases. Stevens into second, and he's got a double. Two hits for him in this one, both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. So, man aboard. Led Miss Diaz now. Grounded out his first time up. 
Ball to strike. The pitch. That one missed. Two balls, one strike. Kicks and fires. Well, that's 89 on the gun, and it's a changeup. It's like good hitting if you're looking for it, but because of the speed differential between the fastball and that pitch, really hard for it. Oh, now this ball's going to get through, and that's a base hit. They extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's 4-1. Well done, drives in the run. I'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball off. That pitch was off the plate. So tough to get the barrel to anything in there. And now, Look, Eric Jolie. Stevens. Up next for He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Eric. Some guys just take it to Steven. another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Liner, base hit. Bay coming home. He will score, and the lead is up to five. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Let me Diaz now, one for two. At the belt and fires. Runner on the go. Pitch outside. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. Alcantara over to first, and he's back in easily. And here it comes. Gets a piece and stays alive. Stevens off of first with two away. Check on the runner. No, Stevens in back in on a dive. Two two now. And now the count filled up three and two. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Pretty good spot on the outside, but just couldn't quite clip now the zone. Bad. That's a stone cold tape. Hitter. So the Marlins Brandon. go with a new arm. Devin Smeltzer. He last pitched Ladies two days ago. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Marlins. Number 38. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. Next offering is outside. Well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. That one fouled off, two and two. Your pitch only, huh? Two, two now. Line drive, base hit. Stevens, around third. The throw in, the run comes in to score from second, and it's now a six-run lead. Couple of singles back to back. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Connor Stark, the next up for the Marlins. Connor Stark. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Stevens grabs it on the run. Now batting, designated hitter, Jorge. Eric now Stevens, batting. the next pirate to hit. Eric. He's got a single, a double, and a triple in this game. A home run gets him the cycle. Line drive to short and caught. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? 
Now so first and second with two outs. And now the shortstop, O'Neill Cruz. He's already homered in this game. Two and one now. This to center field. Stevens gets under it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Marlins strand a pair, not what they were looking for. It's 10-3. to three. Eric Stevens, the next pirate to hit. Now batting. Oh, Center yeah, fielder. Boog. He's on the Eric brink of one of your favorite Steven. milestones. He's Bobby. completed three legs of the cycle. I love me some cycle. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Oh, me dog right here, one time. And it's fouled away. Okay, one time, right now. The 0 1. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. The run comes in from second. It's now 11 3. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. I know that was a ground ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know, they used to say, charge it. Crazy. And it's a lead Miss Diaz. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. And now two and one. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. Wade at second. Stevens at first. Two out of the inning. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. One run in the inning, but they leave two. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Pirates 11 and the Marlins 3. Back here in Pittsburgh, we're at the top of the eighth. And now the right fielder, Jesus Sanchez. Right fielder, number seven, Jesus Sanchez. In the air, center field. Stevens on his way over. Puts it away for the out. The catcher, number four. The number 90 is a big number. You're talking 90 wins over the course of a big league season. Extremely impressive. These guys have worked hard all year long, and they're seeing the fruits of their labor. It's not over yet, though. And your final, 11-3. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.